Hello everybody, with me today is the legend of the broadleaf, and you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Let me begin by saying this is not a sampler for the faint of heart. This is definitely going to be on the medium plus to full bodied side. Some very full and some in the medium plus. If you're a fan of Maduro cigars, if you're a fan of more of that medium plus to full in the strength category, and most especially if you're a fan of Connecticut Broadleaf, these are cigars you probably have tried. If you have not, I don't know why you need to make certain that you try them now because they are amazing within that profile. Uh, I put this group together because I am a big fan of Connecticut Broadleaf. Connecticut Broadleaf to me is very strong. It has a very uh, almost aggressive right out the gate type of light up, but then it comes back a bit more mellow, a bit more creamy. Unlike the Pennsylvanian Broadleaf, which tends to be more rustic, a bit more heavy hitting. As I say, it starts out very strong, a lot of pepper up front, then cream on the back end, as well as earthy, dark cocoa. We've done some of our samplers from our boutique humidor, but never one officially as a Connecticut Broadleaf uh, type of sampler. Now, as I say, there is a disclaimer, and I will get to that very shortly. So first in the lineup, this is a very sought after cigar, a very rare and also very amazing smoke. This is the David by Tabernacle, blended by Nick Melillo. The David is a five by 54 Perfecto. This Connecticut Broadleaf is the quintessential Connecticut Broadleaf. Nick Melillo has the talent, the ability, and almost the obsession to blend broadleaf perfectly. And so this short perfecto was started out somewhat of a more limited release. It is available here at OGT within this sampler. It is amazing strength right out the gate. You have pepper, you have earth, you have chocolate, a lot of the signature things you will find about Connecticut broadleaf, but in this powerhouse of a size, that is the David Short Perfecto by Tabernacle. Now comes a disclaimer. This next cigar is not technically a Connecticut Broadleaf. It is a Maduro and it is a Connecticut Seed. And it is also new to our humidor. So I figured, what the heck, we'll throw it in here because it has similar profile as a Connecticut Broadleaf stick and it is Connecticut Seed. This is the Midnight Express by Caldwell. This is a very rich, sweet, earthy cigar from Caldwell. Caldwell's been quoted to say he doesn't like Maduros. In fact, he hates them. So he said the journey for the Midnight Express was somewhat of a long one, finding a Maduro that he liked. The strength is gonna be more probably in the medium, maybe medium plus, nothing too heavy hitting. So the Caldwell Midnight Express, definitely on the sweeter, earthy, creamier side. When you take a look at the wrapper, it's sort of a lighter brownish color, but it's got also rather, rather toothy, which also implies it's gonna have several pockets of flavor. So that is the Midnight Express Toro by Caldwell Cigars. Next in the lineup, a staple here and personal favorite would be the Enclave Broadleaf by AJ Fernandez. We here at OGT are not a stranger to AJ's blending ability. This is strength within a Toro cigar. This is a six and a half by 54. Rather large cigar, it has pepper, it has earth, it has strength, a lot of oak tones as well. And then it molds back about, I would say second, third into more of a, uh, just a rich Nicaraguan smoke. AJ does amazing things with Nicaragua and it's even more amazing to watch him do it with Connecticut Broadleaf. A phenomenal cigar and the price is rather unbeatable. That is the Enclave Broadleaf in Toro size by AJ Fernandez. Next is rather a legend, a bit difficult to find. We do happen to have several, and that is the Crow Magnum 6x54 Cranium. This was the original release launched by Romacraft. The Crow Magnum is strength out the gate as well. To me, it also has a lot of coffee, a little bit of espresso, maybe a chocolate chip espresso to it. It is an amazing stick, full flavored. When when several people say full flavored, you have different elements of the palate that it's hitting. This is what Cro-Magnon is. It's not just strength. It is a perfect balance between strength and flavor. That is the Cro-Magnon Broadleaf in the cranium size. Last but certainly not least, one of the newest additions here to the humidor, and perhaps the strongest in this sampler pack, would be the Broadleaf by Stellone. This is a 6x52. This is strength. You're definitely gonna want your steak, maybe some ice cream, an entire four course meal before you start this cigar. Unless of course you think you can handle it, the challenge is on. This is a very, very strong cigar, a really interesting representation of Connecticut Broadleaf because it has a lot of those signature tones that I had mentioned earlier, but a lot more heat and strength and pepper behind it. And definitely one that deserves its own within this sampler pack. That is the Broadleaf by Stallone Cigar Company. So there you have it. This is the, the Connecticut Broadleaf, almost all Connecticut Broadleaf, lineup that we have here. It is offered this week. We have very limited supply, so I suggest you go online, make your order, we'll get it shipped right out to your door, and you can try your hand 
at one of the most complex and full-flavored tobaccos out there, the Connecticut Broadleaf. Thank you again, as always, for the support, and we'll see you next time here on Oakland Tobacconist. Bye.